1 John 3.14 says, We know that we have passed out of death into life, because we love the brethren. He who does not love abides in death. What do most depictions of love have in common? In today's media, it's almost exclusively depicted as an individualistic emotion, may be shared by two people. An example of this is Cheerleader, a song that's been stuck in my head for the past month or so. There's a link to Walk Off the Earth's version below. You should check it out. Our culture is obsessed with love, mostly for its sexual meaning, but also for the sense of security and belonging it brings. As the song Cheerleader points out, we want love on our own terms and at our own convenience. We want love that makes us feel good or helps us personally. But what does this passage teach about love? What is love that takes us from death to life? As I said yesterday, the Bible does speak about romantic love, but that's not what's in mind here. What's in mind here is an act of love between brothers. This love is looking out for others rather than ourselves. This will become clear in the verses to come. Over the past few days, I've asked about how Christ is seen in my actions and how I share the hope that I have in the coming kingdom. This verse says that loving our brothers is how we can see the Spirit living in us and working through us. The word abide, which is used throughout the passage and in this verse specifically, can also be translated remain. So if we are not loving our brothers, the Spirit is not in us, and we remain dead in sin. I asked on the first day what true love looks like, and I think we need to keep that question in mind as we come to the second half of this chapter. As we think about that question, let's also ask, what have I learned so far about love in the first 14 verses? How does the idea of love shape how I practice righteousness?